two-yard line. A lot of time left, over 11 minutes. Three wide receivers. Intercepted by Joe Lally. Barr hits again. Well, Ohio State in the first half, behind the quarterbacking of Art Schleister, really moved that football and did a fantastic job. And Schleister is on his way to a career high. He has almost 250 yards passing so far in the first half. Again to the power eye with Jonathan Williams joining Moore and Warner. Bootleg, he's going to walk he's it. He's got it. Picking to Williams, and Blackledge scores during the regular season. He had three touchdowns, but it has been cut to two. It's 19 to 17. We'll be back with a kickoff. Second down goal to go. They go with the power eye as Jonathan Williams comes in. They go left, they get to Williams. If they go right, no, they go right to Williams. He's got a touchdown, Jonathan Williams. This is the same play that Blackledge scored off of, and he did it on a bootleg. Post Edler holding. And it is good. So it is Penn State 24 and Ohio State 19 with 14 minutes and 19 seconds left. For Ohio State over Penn State at this point. Right now, Penn State has the football, and that's what they Follow the first down. Follow the good for Kermore score. The senior from Flint, Michigan. Look at Penn State. Five, Look at the players. Nine yards to carry. And the... Penn State bench is in the end zone. Let's listen. Leister is a dynamite quarterback. And the young. So Doug Donnelly with his final reception. That is his fifth of the ball game. It's over here. The final is Penn State 31. the 75th edition of homecoming at Penn State and they are packed into Beaver Stadium as here come the Nittany Lions a top ranked team in the nation to the near side Carter on the counter gets out of Carter touchdown this is 39 that's exactly right and it's off the upright he's Archie in the slot to the near side as Collins going in between he finds Bobby Ingram Yard line, first and ten, and Collins to go to the air again to his tight end, Kyle Brady. Look at the big man inside the five to the four-yard line. Latino Paul Carter, the running backs on third and goal from the one, and Kajana Carter's got it, and he has got another touchdown. Here comes the play down and eight. Collins going downfield. He's got his receiver, Bobby Ingram. Tackled from behind at the 31-yard line. First and 10, 14-yard line. They got an eight-man front up there right now. That means one-on-one -on -one coverage. Collins puts a touch on it. Touchdown, Bobby Ingram. Marlon Crew. Ingram, four receptions, 75 yards, and look who's got it. Touchdown. Split backs for Kerry Collins and the Nittany Lions to Mike Archie. Touchdown. What a catch by Mike Archie. They said, hey, Joe, they're playing. We like them. We don't want anything like that in our uniforms. Thanks, Jack. And Freddie Scott's got the pass underneath. Scott is inside the 20, down to the 18-yard line with Tito Paul. But there'd be some pressure inside. First and 10, 17-yard line. They give it to Archie. With the hole. Touchdown. 75th homecoming here at Penn State. They've won 30 of the last 33 on homecoming day in the second and eight. They're coming after him right now with everybody. And they give it to Kajana Carter. Touchdown! Number four on the afternoon. First and 10, 11 yard line. That was Kenya who punted that last time for Penn State. So try to throw the uh, middle screen. That picked off. Picked off. Chris Mazik. And touchdown! Chris 
Yeah, Chris Mosick. At Ohio State, it was this man, Kirk Herbstreit, who called the signals as quarterback. And now, Kirk, you want to take my job. You're a sideline announcer on radio. But have you ever seen domination from a team like what Penn State's doing to your team this, this day? No, not at all. This, this is probably the best offense I've ever seen in, in my entire life from watching college football. Six yards. <laughs> Fletcher is the tailback. He's got the football. He's got some blocking, and he's got the touchdown. Ambrose Fletcher, his first career touchdown. Ten as Joe Paterno will take his bows. And what a magnificent effort by the Nittany Lions of Penn State. He, I'll tell you this. He said, you know, I never thought this was going to happen. And he's sincere. He really didn't believe this was going to happen. Scott Turner, the punter, averaged 45 yards on eight punts, had a career long of six. Harris. Aaron Harris running very well. In pocket, may go. Touchdown, Penn State, no flag. Just a spectacular effort by Aaron Harris. Fifty-one yards. Suddenly, it's only a three-point ball game. That is the longest run in Aaron Harris's history at 51 yards. Previous long was 49. And there were at least five Buckeyes that had a chance to take him down. Well, that got this crowd back in the ball game, Keith, and that's bad for the Buckeyes because Brandon Short is back in at middle linebacker for Penn State. Joe Germain getting pressure is sacked. Back at the 20-yard line by Brandon Short. And it's for Enos. And he's gone. Touchdown. Aaron Harris threw the block that stung him. And the Lions have gone back. Intercepted by Sean Lee, and it wasn't hard. Jermaine and the receiver didn't hook up at all. He was the receiver was knocked off his route. And so is Juravicious. Both were shaken up when they left the field the last time. State fell behind by 18 points in the second half to Ohio State. Line run by Mills, 35, hurdles ran to the 40, 45, 50, Mills to the 40, far sideline, 40, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Zach Mills, a 69-yard run. Mills back to pass, he waits, he throws it down the near side for Tony Johnson, he's got it at the goal line, touchdown, Penn State! And if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs. He breaks contain, he throws it downfield, complete to RJ Lou, 45, 40, breaks a tackle to the 30, 25 to the 20, and bumps out of bounds to the far side at the 17. Shotgun now. Mills goes back. He throws to the far corner. Touchdown, Ross McCoy! The Nittany Lions take the lead! The second. to Belisari, takes it, puts by Scott, and Haynes grabs him and throws him down for a big sack back of the 33-yard line. Good step for the lead, it's blocked! Jimmy Kennedy gets the block field goal for the Nittany Lions. This time, the score favored Penn State. More important, the Lions played with pride, 
effort, and character. The way Paterno has always taught them, the reason no one has won more than him. Well, this is charged up. We're going to have about 108,000 of them in here tonight. Light rain, but I think we're going to get away with an unbelievable evening. The Buckeyes come calling against the Nittany Lions. Okay, Hollywood, look forward to hearing from you tonight. Kelly moves forward and kicks it off, and this one is underway. Much anticipated from State College. Yes, Second down and five. Draw play, hunt to the right side, bounces it out. Five, 10, 15. He's off at the 50 yard line and going to be knocked out of bounds there by This is the eighth play of the drive. It started back at their own 26 yard line. Robinson, pressure from the backside, steps up, going to run it. Cuts to the sideline. 25 20, still on his feet inside the 15 yard line. It is first and 10. The ball resting at the 13 yard line. The pitch goes back to Derek Williams, turns the corner at the five. Touchdown, Penn State. There's a couple great blocks right there. You saw the pursuit angle, and it wasn't very good when he scored. Troy Smith from the shotgun. Sets. Now here comes the pressure. More pressure. Backside, they're going to sack him. Down at the 15-yard line, and it's Tom Bahali. Well, look at this crowd. I mean, they are up, and they are making lots and lots of noise trying to get the Nittany Lions to get a defensive stop here. And it's third down. Ohio State needs the 30-yard line. Great protection. Ball is drilled. It is intercepted at the 30, and it's Lowry. 15, 10 at the 5. It'll be first and goal at the 2-yard line, Penn State. One and a half yards away, third down and goal. And here they come with the option. Robinson, touchdown, Mitney Lions. <laughs> State 14 at Ohio State 10. Now here's Reese Davis. Interesting decision. He canceled all the official recruiting visits here this weekend. Joe, let him see this place. He's trying to recruit players. How you could do that, I have no idea. That's but the best uh, student section in the country. They're crazy. Cautiously optimistic at the break right here, Reese. Back to you guys. He's right there behind him, number 26. And a quick pass got it on the sideline. That's Butler. Dion Butler as a head coach and then, a, you know, a guy who loves his school. Big opening for Hunt. Has five, has ten. Counted off at 13. They're trying to make a statement here on this opening drive of the second half. Blitz coming up the middle. Pass. Caught. Was he inbounds? Yes. Dion Butler. You see his numbers. And this distance right here, two of three. Ball is down, and he got it. So with 11, State shows blitz. And they do come off the corner and hit behind the line of scrimmage and knocked down by Dan the Influence, what Ohio State is able to do. Smith drops, three-step drop, got it, incomplete. Ball is tipped by one of the linebackers. Number 41, Josh, right here. Josh Houston, his longest, Bob was 47 yards against Iowa. Here's the kick, and he's got plenty of distance on this one, and he is no good, wide right. So that is the end of the third quarter. And at the time, just surpassing Bear Bryant. Hit just as he re the ball by Jay Alford and Troy Smith. Third down, they need to take it out to the 44-yard line. Pressure coming off the corner, going to run it. 35 at the 40. In fact, he will not get the 40. Dan Connor trying to help out. From the shotgun, second down. They need to take it to the 42. Here comes pressure. Ball is held on to. Now trying to run away, and he's sacked at the 25 by guess who? Paul Puzlesny. After this, and Roy Hall, number eight, a wide receiver lined up inside on this punt block team. Well, here's the boot, and it's it's a line drive, and fair catch was called for, and it got by. Look at this arrow right here. The ball is going to be touched. It's Ted Ginn in motion. Here comes pressure. Smith is hit and sacked. The ball is loose, and it's recovered by Ohio State. Tamba Hali with the hit. And the celebration.
celebration is beginning down on the field. <laughs> what a scene. players they're lucky they get to play in Ohio Stadium possibly the greatest home field advantage in all the country now everyone's been talking about how loud Washington Stadium is fair enough which got me thinking what's the loudest stadium I've ever been in well Ohio Stadium to tell you the truth but I thought I'd ask the team that same question probably Penn State two years ago yeah. that was probably the loud that was by far the loudest I've been in Penn State yeah. no, without a doubt Penn State 2005 was I mean it was that night game they had that white out in the student section was, I swear it was a, like just a quarter of the stadium was among us when, when Texas was here in 05 and AJ Hall got that interception I don't know if you guys remember how loud that was but I think Penn State was just on, on the verge of being that loud the whole game didn't matter if it was first down or second down they were just and they got that, that music they play and then they lie and growl and the guys get up and jump around what's, what's crazy or high city Penn State what do you think that night Penn State State. Just, I mean, just, just, just the way it is. You walk out of the locker room. There's two little ropes holding these people back. So you walk, especially you walk by the concession stand out to the field. You know, the people throw stuff, you know, bottles and things at you, and it's just kind of, it's, it's, it's more, it's more or less. Ohio State's more tamed because you know they have, they have a tunnel they can walk out. The guy, people aren't, you know, we're walking through the crowd. It's like, it's like us walking, just, you know, it's like trying to walk off off the field after the mission game. That's how it is getting from the locker room to the field of Penn State. Scoreboard. Fake set. Time. Deep down the middle for Graham Sugg. He's got the 25 to the 20 inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. And the Nittany Lions answer with a big play of their own. The difference, this moves them into the red zone. Pitts with the snap on the money. Kick by Kelly is up and the kick by Kevin Kelly is good. And the Nittany Lions are on the board. Buckeyes lead it for the first time tonight. Shotgun for Clark, quarterback sneak goes right side, fumbles the football, losing the turf, Snow losing the turf, they scramble for it, and as they dive all over the place, Penn State recovers, 6-3 Ohio State, they pop out of there, Devlin under center, Devlin quarterback sneak, touchdown, Penn State, the Nittany Lions take the lead, the Nittany Lions were using all, put down, kick by Kelly is up, and the kick by Kevin Kelly is gone, and the Nittany Lions have a seven-point lead. But they got to get us. Throws it deep downfield in the end zone. Intercepted by Lionel Sargent in the end zone. And the Nittany Lions go into Columbus and come up with the big plays in the fourth quarter. Take the direct snap. McGloin, the quarterback's out of the slot. And here goes Green up the middle. And he's gone. Gives the ball to Green. 35-30. Here he goes. The way blitz, he's in trouble, hit, and down he goes. Back at the 15-yard line, Jack Crawford finally finished him off. Hit McGloin, play action, wants a big one and got it. Complete to Boy. McGloin under center, gives the ball left side, touchdown, Penn State, Stephon Green, the Nittany Lions are on the board again. Runs out of time, and down he goes, Jack Crawford, and it's incomplete on the Nittany Lions, go into Columbus and defeat Ohio State. And the rugby punts, and it is blocked, and recovered for a Penn State touchdown. Mike Hall blocked it. recovered for the Penn State touchdown. Well, Ohio State's been the best blocked team in the country this year. They've blocked six kicks, most in the nation. Little taste of his own medicine for Urban Meyer. As Hull makes it up. Ohio State beat Penn State in a close double overtime game, and it should be noted that Penn State did a terrific job of clawing themselves back into the game on both offense and defense. But, but, some pretty terrible first half officiating certainly did not help. First, Von Bell clearly dropping an interception on Penn State's first drive that the refs allegedly reviewed, which, as it turns out, because of an equipment malfunction, just didn't. And this clear, again, ball hitting the ground non-interception then led to an Ohio State touchdown. Then, later in the half, Ohio State, despite snapping the ball multiple seconds, plural, as you can see here, 
after the play clock expired, kicked a 49-yard field goal to take a 10-0 lead. See Pac-12 fans, other conferences have Pac-12 refs too. And it sucks.